Let's turn our attention back to politics for a minute. GOP presidential frontrunner Mitt Romney coming under fire for his experience in the private sector as a venture capitalist. Romney co-founding the investment firm Bain Capital back in the late 1980s, staying on with the company for about 15 years. Opponents like Rick Perry and others uh, recently comparing the company's practices to scavenging. I understand restructuring, I understand those types of things, but the idea that we can't criticize someone for these get-rich-quick schemes is not appropriate from my perspective. And I happen to think that companies like Bain Capital could have come in and helped these companies if they truly were venture capitalists, but they're not. They're vulture capitalists. Ed Butowski is managing partner of Chapwood Capital Investment Management. He joins us live. Ed, good to see you. So let's just explain off the Let's bat here. What does it mean when someone's a venture capitalist? Yeah, it's real simple. And by the way, Governor Perry is just absolutely factually wrong with everything that he just said. Well, before we Let get in, I with. want to talk to you about that. But let's define venture yeah. capitalism for folks out there who might have been hearing this term thrown around over the last week and might not fully understand right. what it means. And, that, and that's what I want to do. A venture capital. So let's just say you and I you know, got together and we had an idea and we wanted to start a business. Okay. We might go and fund it ourselves and then eventually go out and get some angel financing some, from some friends. Then we realize that our idea is really good. And then we need some additional money. A venture capitalist will give us some money for some ownership in the company. It's a very high risk investment and only about one out of 20 or one out of 30 of the best venture capital investments actually succeed. But when they do, Rick, they make 20, 30, 50, 100 times your money. But that's not what Bain Capital does. Bain Capital is a private equity firm. A private equity firm comes in later on. So if a venture capital firm, Rick, seeds a company, right. a private equity firm fertilizes it and tries to help it grow. So that's why I said Governor Perry's just wrong. It's not vulture capitalism. I don't know what he's talking about. But a lot of times when a, a private equity firm comes in uh, and tries to help a company out, uh, they do restructuring. Mm -hmm. People lose their jobs. Is that not right? That, that, that's exactly right. Sometimes that happens. But a, a private equity firm like Bain, and I know Bain very well, Bain Capital doesn't just show up at your door and try to come into your company. They're invited in by the board of directors and management of these companies. They go into those companies, evaluate, figure out what they might be able to do to help the company. And again, with the board of directors, with management's approval, then they also include giving capital and their counsel. Bain Capital is not a vulture firm. They do, they do not do hostile takeovers. Sometimes they have to restructure. And, and let me just make this point very clear, Rick. Sure. When a company starts out, there's processes and procedures that are put in place. And a lot of times they're from guys who maybe know how to you know, have a good idea, but don't know how to run a business. So some of these processes and procedures need to be taken out. And that includes some people that need to be closed, you know, taken out of the company, or they need to shut down a product line or an office. That happens to make the whole company more efficient. So it maybe one day can be sold or go public or just grow. Okay, it's so, very normal. So, Ed, uh, th there is this super PAC, this political group uh, that supports Newt Gingrich that came out with this movie uh, about Mitt Romney's time mm -hmm. as a venture capitalist at Bain Capital. And they interviewed folks who lost their jobs, who lost their livelihoods, who lost their homes as a result right. uh, of, of, the, of Bain Capital coming in and basically restructuring them and, and causing them to be redundant with the companies. And we just heard from uh, Congressman Frost, Martin Frost, a little while ago talking to Arthel on this show, talking about how the election is going to come down to eight states in the nation's heartland, uh, these industrialist states where folks uh, work in factories, they have these kinds of jobs that a lot of times they lose these jobs uh, for one reason or another. How does a candidate like Mitt Romney, if he wins the nomination, explain what he did in the private sector to folks in our nation's heartland who may have lost their job over the last couple of years and whose vote he's going to need if he's going to win the White House? Well, I mean, it's real simple. You're, we're only looking at one very small subsection of, com of people who have lost their jobs. There are hundreds of thousands of millions of jobs that have been created because of companies like Bain Capital and private equity firms. So just the idea that we interviewed a few people doesn't mean it's true. I mean, we can sit there and say the same thing over and over again, and we can almost brainwash people to think that what they're hearing is true. For instance, I could tell you I look just like Brad Pitt, but it isn't true, all right? And, and, <laughs> and the truth of the matter, Rick, is... 
uh, just a tiny bit. But the truth <laughs> is, we say it over and over again, you hear it in the press, and people need to understand that private equity firms, almost every company that went public was once private. In fact, they were all private. These private equity firms are not vultures. Some people do get laid off, but there are so many more people that get jobs, and we've grown businesses because of private equity firms. They're part of the fiber of this country. Ed, thanks very much for coming on and talking to us about this, Absolutely. explaining the concept. Ed Butowski, Managing Partner, Chapwood Capital Investment Management. Always good to talk to you, Ed. Happy New Year. You too. Thanks, Rick. <laughs>